What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'll show you how to export LUTs from Premiere Pro so you can keep your color grading and settings throughout multiple projects and even multiple programs like Photoshop, Lightroom, etc. and even OBS Studio where I'm recording this now. Something this video will show you that other videos won't is how to export a color profile even when the plugin that you're using doesn't let you do so. It's actually super powerful and of course you can use this technique pretty much in any editing software. Let's go ahead and begin. Over here in my Premiere Pro, I've simply imported a camera video of me from I think yesterday's video and essentially I'm just speaking to the webcam. That's pretty much it, nothing too crazy. I'll crop it down to just two minutes and we'll go ahead and color grade it just to make it look a little bit better. In Premiere, you have the Lumetri Color Panel, which is this thing over here. You can open it with a window followed by Lumetri Color and of course Lumetri Scopes and you can finally control how your video looks. So you can mess with the color temperature, tint, etc. If you come to this video, you've probably already messed around with footage, color corrected it, and you want to export the profile as a LUT file. This is super simple. I'll go ahead and use the auto button to fix it up a tiny bit, and this is good enough. I'll leave it here. You can see a small difference if we enable and disable the Lumetri Color effect. In order to export your Lumetri Color settings as a LUT file, simply click the burger button at the very top where it says Lumetri Color and choose Export Cube or Export Look, depending on what you're trying to save it as. When you do so, you can save it in any folder. I'll leave it as Untitled.Cube and I'll replace my existing one as I'm re-recording this video. But essentially from here, what we can do is in a brand new project when we import a video file and have a completely reset color panel, what we can do is in basic correction, input LUT, we can change it from none to browse, navigate across to where it is, select it and open. Just like that, we'll now have our color grading applied. And of course we can use this cube file in anything that supports it. You may even be able to add it to your camera itself and preview it directly on the monitor or on an external monitor. This is super powerful. And of course, at this stage, you probably already learned everything you need to know. So I hope you found it useful and do consider leaving a like. However, if this hasn't answered your question like it didn't mine, what happens if you're using third-party plugins that don't let you do something so simple? Well, I'll reset the color changes here and even remove the Lumetri color effect completely. I'll go ahead and add an effect here called Cinema Grade. This is a grading plugin that I supported on Kickstarter a while ago. They brought it to Windows and it's actually super powerful. I really enjoy using it. It's just a little bit heavy. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. Of course, you can do the usual color grading, lighting, contrast, temperature control, saturation, and you can even control or replace different colors, select something such as my blue hoodie and change the hue of it completely to something else. And essentially in my previous video, I did some basic correction and on the final grading tab, I selected one of my LUT files just to make it a little bit more moody. I applied it and just like that, my color changes were reflected in Premiere Pro. If I disable and re-enable this plugin, you can see the effects here. But you'll notice one thing and that's that we can't export this by simply right clicking. There's no way to export this as a cube file looks or anything. Even inside of Cinema Grade, there's no way of doing this. This of course is just a plugin for color grading. You could of course be using anything. The best that I could do is save a preset, give it a name and add this to different video files or projects where it'll re-add the same color grading, etc. But there's one major caveat of using third body plugins to color grade. If I go ahead and export this two minute clip in my normal settings, you'll see this is gonna take a solid 15, 20 ish minutes to do. And in fact, it even slows down a little bit. This is terrible, especially for a two minute clip. If I were to go ahead and disable this effect and add my LUT that I created earlier, for example, then export once more, you'll see this will take pretty much real time, if not quicker, so two minutes instead of 20. That's 10 times faster, and I definitely want to be using a LUT file instead of a third party plugin. So go ahead and undo this. So how exactly do we save this third party plugin color grading as a LUT file that we can use elsewhere? Well, we can use a technique where we modify an image and compare that to another image. Obviously, an image without and an image with can be compared in some kind of programmatic way. There's multiple ways of doing this, programs and even websites, and I'll be showing you one of them here. In the description down below, you'll find a link to online LUTcreator.com slash LUTcreator. In here, we can simply download a PNG file, 
and this file is a very simple array of different colors. What we'll do is color grade this, then re-upload it. They'll calculate the difference and give us a LUT file in return. So I'll go ahead and add this to Premiere Pro. So project, I'll drag it in and we'll make a new sequence from this PNG file. Now it's perfectly sized and we'll do nothing to this other than color grading this PNG file as we would our camera. So I'll copy the Cinema Grade plugin and paste it onto the PNG file here. Now you can see that we've color graded this to be what we want. What we'll do is with the color graded PNG file, we'll go ahead and export this as a PNG. The easiest way to do this is using the camera button over here or control shift E to open up the image export when we have the program monitor selected here. I'll simply save it and overwrite it as I created this before. If you don't have this camera button, simply click the plus over here and drag it in from here to here, click OK, and there you go. With this modified PNG file, we'll head back to the website, click upload here, select it and click open, then we'll click generate LUT and this will let us download a LUT file. This should have our color grading applied to it the same way that the plugin does. So inside of Premiere, I'll go ahead and on the video track, disable my cinema grade plugin. Then in the Lumetri color panel, I'll change the input LUT from none to browse. We'll navigate to the LUT file we just downloaded, open and bam, there we go. Here's our color grading applied as a LUT file. What's the difference? Well, if I disable Lumetri color and re-enable Cinema Grade, you can see the difference here. So third party versus a LUT file. Cinema grade, light file. It's very similar, if not almost exactly the same. There'll be a few minor differences and minor losses and color changing and settings, but for the most part, it's really good enough, especially for what we get. Now, without Lumetri color LUT selected, I'll export the same exact video using my cinema grade settings, and this time you'll see it takes real time, if not faster. This is perfect. I've now used a third party plugin to get great color settings, and I can export it at full speed as it's just a normal LUT file. This file I can even take across to different programs that don't support cinema grade or third party plugins at all, like OBS Studio, for example. Of course, though, OBS Studio doesn't support cube files at all. Instead, it uses a slightly different format, which I'll show you here. If I open up OBS Studio, then select my camera, right click, filters, apply LUT and browse, you'll see in the filters folder him very similar color arrays. This is exactly what we'll be modifying. I'll copy this file, paste it in a separate folder. We'll add it back to Premiere, create a new sequence from this, and we'll go ahead and modify it the same way we did our PNG over here that we created a LUT from. So I'll copy and paste my cinema grade or plugin onto this, and you can see a very small difference. What I'll do is export this once again using the export frame button. We'll save it. And now all we need to do is use this image inside of OBS Studio. So once again, I'll browse here, select it, open, and bam, just like that, our camera should be color graded in OBS Studio. Now, of course, I'm using one here. I think I'll just switch back to my main camera and right-click filters, turn off apply LUT. You can see the difference here. This is the color grading that I did yesterday. And of course, if I wanted to, I could apply it and instead use the LUT that we just created from today. So this one over here, bam, just like that, we've got custom color settings at our fingertips in different programs that don't even support cube files at all. You now know how to export LUT files from Premiere Pro using both the Lumetri color panel, if you color correct and stylize there, or using third-party plugins that don't exactly support exporting a LUT file. This is incredibly powerful, and as you've seen, the technique is used in multiple different programs, so that's what I mean by you can take these skills that you've just learned and use them in pretty much any old program. So hopefully you found this video helpful, if not entertaining. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Shoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.